Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Terraria Expert Hardcore Edition. We are in hard mode. It is raining, and that is actually pretty exciting because I decided for my destroyer fight, which we are going to be doing this episode, I believe, I would really, really like to have the Nimbus Rod. I have watched some videos trying to get an idea of how exactly I want to go about it. Oh, hi, Pixie. And I've seen people just absolutely wreck the destroyer with nothing more than the Nimbus Rod. And I thought, hey, I could do that. I could absolutely do that. Um, I'm also being told that I may be taking the destroyer to be a little bit easier than he actually is. So we're gonna uh, gonna play it a little bit safer maybe than I had intended. Do I still have the water candle up? I do. Oh, it just stopped raining, no! Oh boy. Well, I do still need to farm some more pixie dust. Ain't, well, not pixie dust really, but unicorn horn. So we're gonna do that for a little bit. Oh, what did I just hear? Or is that just music? Hmm. I was also told that the hallow will not spread here because of the wood. So I think I will go ahead and get rid of the wood to allow it to keep spreading. I think that would be a good idea because I would like more surface hallow nearby. There we go, and where is my hammer? Molten ham axe, that'll work. Oh, I threw my molten ham axe. I wonder how many times I've done that. I wonder if I've actually been losing things because, because of that. Living wood wall, don't need you. And I will go ahead and put the dirt back. I'll fill it in nice and neat. Blue slime, come on. What do you? What did you think was gonna happen here? Hmm. Okay, good. The menace of the slimes has been eliminated. All right, now we should be seeing some more spread of the hallow. I'm really hoping that it'll start raining again soon. I do want to use that before I actually fight the destroyer. I think that that is something that would be immensely helpful. The other thing a lot of people have been suggesting is get the spider staff and I think didn't I have a spider biome that's just web I don't think that's a spider biome what is that it's a statue I think right here I think this might oh it's blink root I don't know I thought we had a spider biome right off of our elevator I could be wrong but oh 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 but we might have to go and check that out because the spider minions are going to be a lot more beneficial than our imps. But I don't think it's actually going to be true for fighting the destroyer. Oh, I need to get rid of some stuff. Oh, I got an umbrella hat. How quaint. Um, let's see. Piggy? That's not what I wanted. There we go. All right. Inner of Souls banner. I do need to start putting banners up. I do know that. Let me get rid of some things that I don't need right now. Oh, unicorn. <laughs> Easy there, partner. Where are you going? You just really want that grasshopper? Come on. Oh, you kind of get stuck in those hallways, huh? Anyway, so what I was saying was, against the destroyer, I don't think it's going to be very beneficial because the spiders need to actually be on either the ground or on a wall. They can't just be... Ooh. A pixie banner, cool. I will uh, hang that up since we're going to be farming them here. But it's not going to be very beneficial because the Eater of Worlds is not just a slow-moving, land-based creature. They really don't work well against things that... Uh... Oh, blue slime banner. Sure, why not? <laughs> that can stay there. Excellent, good. Um, but they work best against enemies that are on the ground because the spiders themselves need to actually be either on the ground, on a background wall, something like that. They can't just fly around like the imps do. That's a gold butterfly. Do I have my net on me? No. No, I don't. Ugh. And if I go off screen, it's going to despawn. Bummer. That was 10 gold. That would have been 10 gold right there. So yeah, I think we're going to stick with the imps, but we will go ahead and use the bewitching table so we can have two of them. Oh yeah, look at that. We're two-shotting the pixies now. So we'll use a bewitching table so we have two imps. We're going to use Flask of Fire, which is created with the imbuing station, which I don't even know if I have bought yet. If I haven't bought it, I will have to do that because I would like to make it. It's just bottled water and hellstone, which I think we still have some hellstone ore. 
And I think that'll be good, just for when the orbs actually come and get us, I can hopefully inflict the on-fire debuff. I'm not sure if they're immune to that or not. But in the meantime, here we are, just doing a bit of farming. Um, hmm. I was really excited that I logged in and it was raining, and now it is not, and I'm less excited. Look at that, 216 damage. I mean, it's all because of the banner, but still, I like it. So what else could I do in the meantime? I did. I have two more unicorn horns, so that'll be another 400 arrows. Good. Hmm. Oh, is it spreading? I should also get that strange plant that's down. Oh, there we go. And I would love to get a unicorn banner. Okay, it is spreading. Good. So there's 600 arrows. Excellent. Let's get that strange plant. Because I do want to start taking a look at dyes. I think that'll be that'll be fun. Come on. Here we go. Alright. Well, good, good, good. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep doing some farming. I will bring you guys back if an any bleh, if anything interesting happens. Otherwise. Yeah, I guess I'll see you when we start preparing for this battle. Oh, we got our first hallowed tree. That's fun. Oh, hey, hey there, unicorn. And I think, is that a unique type of wood now? Pearl wood, I think maybe it's called? Let's see. Uh, it is, it's pearl wood, cool. All right. Excellent, now we have some new building materials for the building that I really need to actually start doing at some point in time. Because I'm told that I need 21 NPC houses, 22 if I want Santa to spawn come the holiday season, which if I'm still alive, of course, why wouldn't I want Santa? Also, I built this little dirt bridge so I can continue the halo spreading to the left. Alright, so far so good. It's almost nighttime though, and you guys know what that means. <laughs> we could, we could be, could be meeting one of the mech bosses tonight. Get ready to hold your breath. Alright, it's about that time. 15 Terraria minutes to find out if we are uh, going to be meeting a new friend tonight or not. Oh, jeez. Oh, here it comes. <sighs> Alright, good. Good, good, good. We are safe for another evening, or at least relatively so. So I think the plan will be to fight him, to fight the destroyer tomorrow night, with or without a Nimbus Rod. And maybe that's maybe that's foolish. It almost certainly is foolish because I should just wait and be patient. But I mean, you just can't control the weather. So who knows when it's actually going to start raining again? I I don't. Oh wow. That's interesting. The Wandering Eyes actually have an Enrage mode, just like the Eye. It's pretty cool. It's a nice touch. Um, I'm out of inventory space, so if these guys do drop anything interesting, I'm not going to get it. So we might have to take a trip over to Mr. Piggy. So off of one of these raids, I just got a fast clock, which I don't even know what... Oh god, what is that? Immunity to slow. Oh, that's interesting. Is that part of the... The Ankh charm? That very well may be. Oh, cool. One more piece. I should get the Nazar, because apparently, and supposedly at least... The dungeon is no harder now than when I left it because it doesn't actually get additional enemies until after Plantera is defeated, I think. So I could theoretically go in there pretty safely. Also, I'm up to eight unicorn horns. That's another 1,600 holy arrows. I think we are looking pretty good, guys. Although no rain. Still no rain. Officially morning. Survive the night again. It's actually not too difficult to survive. The only thing that are a real pain are those gastropods. Those floating snail type deals that shoot lasers at you. They can actually be kind of frustrating. Yeah. I was hoping to actually get a banner for one of them so I could kill them a little easier, but no such luck. Okay, so it's daytime. We have some things to do to make sure that we're ready to fight the destroyer tonight. 
Oh gosh. Okay, let's go back to town. I'll see you guys there and we'll make some arrows, see how many we have, and talk about our next steps. So here's what I've been doing. I created a whole bunch of holy arrows. We have just shy of 2,000. We have just shy of 2,000, which is really good. Oh, actually, I have another 800 here. Oh my goodness. Never mind. I think that is absolutely plenty. <laughs> oh, let's actually go test it. I want to see how well it actually splits. Where is my box? Over here, okay. I should probably maybe put a torch or something so I know about where it is. Let's just do a... <laughs> Oop, not that. We'll just do a, a dirt and a torch. There we go. So let's fly up. Excellent. And I apparently don't need this timer. Uh, I guess there's actually a switch on the timer itself. And that's honestly not going to do a lot of good. You guys have told me that apparently the internal timer on the dart traps themselves is a little over three seconds. So it's actually not going to benefit from the timer at all. But... I guess it is what it is, right? So let's see if I'm down here and I shoot. Okay, that's gonna work. Yeah, that's gonna work well. So I would pop a minion. I would, what else? Oh, uh, do I have the crimson rod? No, I don't have the crimson rod because I'm not in a crimson world, you goof. Ah, oh, jeez. Anyway, so I have my greater healing potions, iron skin, swiftness, which really isn't gonna do me any good unless I need to flee. Danger sense is just always there. I have Shine Potions, Regen, Endurance, Thorns, Heart Reach, which I think could be good if I, if my imps or if the traps are actually killing orbs outside here and they drop hearts. I think that's good. Hunter Potions, I'll see the orbs a little bit better. And then I also have Archery Potions. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, you know what? Do I have... Did I have a Life Force Potion at all that increases your health by 20%? I don't know if I ever got one or not, and I don't know if I have what I need to make it. I might, though. Let's see. Oh, get out of here, buzzard. Let's see what I can make. Calming, summon. Oh, a summoning would be good. Why not? I'll have two imps. Sure. Uh, endurance I have. Calming, flipper, mining. Da -da -da -da. Obsidian, regen. Hmm. No. I don't see anything for a life force. Let's see. Oh, variegated lardfish. You did something cool, and I think so did even koi. Maybe even damselfish. I don't remember. Okay, let's go take a look and see what potions... Oh, really? You are tenacious. Let's see what kind of potions I can make with those items. And let's see. So, lardfish. I don't remember. Oh, that's summoning. Okay, so I can make plenty of those. That's wrath. Oh, yeah, absolutely I want wrath. I just need some deathweed. Oh, do I have deathweed? I don't know that I do. And that's just calming. Okay. So even Koi is for Wrath, which I absolutely want, but I don't know if I have Deathweed. Um, hmm. I guess I don't, or else it would have shown up in my potions that I could make. Oh, that is unfortunate. Do I even have any seeds? No? Oh, goodness. That's... That's not good. Yeah, could you deal with that, please? Can you deal with that slime? Thank you. Take that. Um, I don't need the switch anymore. I can just... Uh, seems like a waste to actually throw it out. Hmm. Where can I get some deathweed without, you know, going into the corruption? I might have to. I might have to. Alright, not really where I wanted to go today, but... What was... What is that? A sand poacher. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's see if we can't grab a couple of death weeds. Even one. Even one would be satisfactory for now. We'll see. I know that the corruption is a lot more dangerous, just like everything else in hard mode, but I think it would be incredibly, incredibly useful for us to get some. Come on. And I have... Okay, what do I hear? What do I hear? Oh god, my, uh... My dart traps are still going. I'm gonna get myself killed. I'm gonna get myself killed. Oh, what a fool I am. Oh, is that Deathweed? It is. Alright, good. You know what? We're out of there. <laughs> I gotta go turn that trap off. Oh, wow. Almost killed by my own ingenuity. 
My own terrible, pointless ingenuity. Oh, yikes. Stop doing that. All right, let's go make a wrath potion. Oh, I can't believe that just happened, or almost happened. I mean, we're alive, so. Oh, we got two death weeds. Sweet. So wrath potion looks like... Oh, I can make stink potion. Good. Like that. There we go. Oh my gosh, my inventory is so full. All right, let me dump some stuff off and let's see. Oh, I also need to find out if I made... Did I make the mechanical worm? I don't think I did. So I'll have to do that too. All right, guys, back in a moment. Okay, so what do I need to do to make the worm? It is souls of... N is it not souls of night? Oh, it's not souls of night. What? Yes, it is. There we go. So I just need iron or lead, rotten chunks, and souls of night, and it's done at a mithril anvil. Cool. I don't even have to go find an altar. All right, it's almost time. Almost time. So let's see. I have a like a boss summons. I think it's in. Is that right? Where's boss summons? Okay, there's some rotten chunks, and I need some metals. Can I just do it right from here? Am I not standing in front of it enough? No, I am. So why can't I make any... Is it really because I don't have enough iron? Where is it? There it is. Okay. Mechanical worm. There we go. We have two Terraria hours before we can actually summon the destroyer but I think we're about as ready as we're gonna be no we didn't get the Nimbus rod no we didn't get the spider minions which I don't think would help uh, no we didn't get the Daedalus storm bow from Hallowed <laughs> Mimic all things that could potentially end up saving my life I did not do I'm sorry but I think we're gonna be okay we're gonna be okay right I think so I hope so oh please 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 tell me you're gonna be okay all right, well, guys, 6 o'clock, Terraria time. I'll see you at 7.30, and, um, jeez, oh, Pete, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, no, I forgot the imbuing. <gasps> Crud, I forgot the imbuing. Okay, we're going to try to do that super, super quick. I need to go buy it. I didn't buy it before. Hopefully, it's relatively safe down. <gasps> oh, oh, what? What? What is this thing? Oh. Oh. oh! Oh gosh, and I'm about to fight something just slightly larger than him. Where is my... Oh, he got killed, didn't he? Oh no, my witch doctor got killed. Oh, unless he... Are you serious? I can't risk going down there. What? Fungal spore? Oh no, 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 no. I don't even know if the on fire debuff would work against the probe, so we're not we're not gonna go down to hell to talk to our witch doctor who decided to take a long walk off of a short bridge. What a fruitcake. Potion sickness. What? What is potion sickness? Oh, that just means that I can't use another potion. I jeez, it's cool down on my potion. Here I am thinking I got some nasty nasty debuff. Oh my gosh, here we go. Are you ready? It's time. We're buffed. We have Two minions. And we have the destroyer. Oh my goodness. Here we go. There we go. I have no idea what kind of damage I'm doing. It doesn't even matter. Okay. So I just need to be quick about switching to melee whenever these guys show up. Okay. This is holy moly. Oh. 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 So many probes. So many probes. So many probes. Okay. Just keep them at bay. Keep them at bay. Oh, wait. Turn these on. Yeah, look at that. 13 damage. Oh, we got this. <laughs> I don't know that we got this, but we might got this. I don't know. Okay, ready to go. Okay, the heart reach potion's working nicely. As is my titanium repeater with these arrows. My goodness. I can hear it hitting the destroyer, but I uh, I have no idea what kind of damage it's actually doing. And honestly, I uh, I don't care. I don't care. Damage is damage. Okay, let's take out the... Oh, oh, these guys have lasers too. That makes sense. Because these are the things that are actually shooting 
the lasers from the re ready go oh boy can we just can we just hope that the destroyer is actually taking damage go imps go all right i am i am not losing as much health that i as i thought i would okay keep it going Oh man, watching these pros just get melted by the stars is very, very satisfying. Ooh, 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 careful, some are getting in. Actually, the darts, you know, I, I don't think the darts are going to be the game changer, but every now and then they keep one out and I think, hey, I made that. <laughs> okay, uh, I would love to dip down and just see what kind of health we're looking at. Um, do I dare though? Is that foolishness? It probably is. But let's do it. Uh, oh, he's less than half. He's less than half, guys. All right. Stop dashing. Keep it going. I think we're going to be able to farm the destroyer, guys. Granted, we need more souls so we can get more mechanical eyes, but this is going really well. All right. I'll take care of these guys. Hey, get out of my house. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> this is fun. Um, is this the cheesiest way of doing it? Yeah, probably. But it works. But it works, and now this is going to allow me to do some other really cool things, I think. Oh, look at this guy. Just get wrecked by this. the stars that are coming from the top. Oh, look at... Did you see that? My dart trap actually just saved the day. Okay, not really, but he did just actually destroy a probe, which is pretty cool. Okay, a lot of probes, a lot of probes. Clear them out. Clear them out, clear them out. And also remember that your sword is auto swinging. You don't have to keep clicking it. Oh, look at, look at my imps doing work. Ugh, okay, they're doing a little bit too much work though. Because I can't actually get in and do any damage because I'm defending myself against probes. But maybe that's fine, that's fine. Okay, I do want to take another look at his health in a moment. Come on. Come on. Would you just... There we go. Thank you. All right, let's go look. Oh, he's at 14,000, guys. Let's finish this. Let's finish this. Oh, this is too fun. Oh, this is too fun. Come on. Come on. He's got to be almost dead. Got to be almost dead. gosh first hard mode boss did and I haven't got an achievement for it because I've never done that before true story I've never ever killed a hard mode boss before oh so this is wonderful oh yes treasure bag treasure bag treasure bag if I had another one I would honestly summon it right now I think we would have enough time but I don't wait yes I do yes I do Ooh, can we do it four hours Nah, it took us almost five Right? I don't know. Can we do another? What am I missing? So, oh, I'm missing iron bars. Never mind. We can do it the next night. But let's see what we get. I don't even know what you get in treasure bags in from this. A mechanical wagon piece. It's a material. Okay. The mechanical cart? Wheel piece, wagon piece... In battery piece. I wonder if these are from the three mechanical bosses, and then we get that. I don't even know what that does. What else? I, I got mummy pants. I guess that's from the mummy. Oh, I got 35 hallowed bars, guys. Ooh. What can we make with that? The hallowed set, which is... How's the defense looking? What's the chest piece? I have 15 on my chest. This is 15. Okay. But I can also make a Drax, a Pickaxe, a Repeat. Oh, a Hallowed Repeater. That's 48 damage. Eh, okay. A Light Disc. What the heck is a Light Disc? Hmm. Huh. I don't have any Souls of Light, but what about the Optic Staff? I need Soul of Sight, which I think is from the Twins. That would be so cool, because I actually have a Black Lens. I, I held on to it from previously, um, 
in pre hard mode. I got it. Uh, pumpkin moon medallion. I think that's just some of the pumpkin moon. Yeah, let's let's pass on that, huh? Hmm. Do I want any of this stuff though? Excalibur, 68 melee damage. Ooh, that's 68 base. What is Gung Gunganir light disc? Hmm. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna hold off on making anything. Oh, what did I get? Oh, Souls of Might. I don't even know what those are for. Oh man, you get so much stuff. All right, what do we get? Okay, so that's needed for the Drax and the Pickaxe. Axe. And, ooh, the Mega Shark. The Mega Shark, guys. We could we could totally make that. Mini Shark, Illegal Gun Parts, Shark Fins. I don't know that we have any. We haven't actually killed any sharks, but we could do that. What else? Okay, the Avenger em Emblem. This used to be a different recipe. It used to be you needed all three of the emblems from the Wall of Flesh. Now you only need one of them, and then you combine it with Souls of Might, Sight, and Fright. So I'm guessing Might is Destroyer, this is from the Twins, and this is from Skeletron Prime. Okay, cool. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Um, that was really exciting. That went went absolutely swimmingly. We are at, we're definitely going to farm him some more the next time. But for now, I'm going to leave you there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today, what I want you to do in the comments is let me know with the materials I have now and the materials that I can get from continuing to farm the Destroyer, what should I make? Should I make the Excalibur? Because I, I think you can do what? The Excalibur plus a Broken Hero Sword gets you a true Excalibur, which is really, really good. Um, I might end up going with that. Might also go with the Hallowed Repeater. I don't know. I mean, I'm having a really, really good time with the Repeater so far. But anyway, whew. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are enjoying the series still as much as I am actually playing it, hit the like button, let me know. And if you have any comments that will help me, or any tips rather, that will help me stay alive just one more day in Terraria, put those in the comments below. I will see you next time. Because there's going to be a next time. <laughs> That's exciting.